Hello YouTube. I wanted to show uh, one of the benefits of printing on glass. Um, I believe it was uh, this is a 200 nozzle temperature with a 60 glass print. Um, there's nothing on the glass. It's just glass. Uh, I wiped it down with acetone or not acetone, denatured alcohol, and to get a good stick and it stuck really well. And uh, this is kind of a big test print. It has a large footprint. And it actually ran out of filament on it. It's only 50% done, but gives me an idea how this is turning out as helping somebody out on this project. Anyhow, um, let's give this a try. So it's cooled down now. It's pretty tight. And there it goes. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Did pretty well on the bottom. The um, I think the file had issues. It was like converted a couple times, but um. Anyways, if you had like glue on there or something like that with this big of a footprint, it would have been really hard to come off. And all I did is I just let the, it cool, and uh, it kind of like releases. And you saw I did it with one hand there. Probably my bed's still level and everything, so I could go on printing. Although I'd recommend at this point you'd. Uh, what I like to do is I get a, sorry, I get a body panel tool and it works pretty good for scraping stuff off of your bed there. Um, there, I just took half of it off and you don't want to have to worry about scratch, scratching the glass, although it's pretty hard to scratch glass, but I just feel more comfortable doing uh, the plastic on the glass. And it seems to work well. And then the oils from your hands, you know, it's touching the glass. That's why you want to rub that down. And get a clean rag and uh, a lint-free clean rag. and Rub it down with some denatured alcohol and then you should be good to go. Anyways, uh, I don't know. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And thank you for watching.